Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new video. In our previous lecture, I have just shown you that how will pass or punching share failure. I mean punching share check failure. So it's it's a pass now. Now in this lecture, I have just told you that in this lecture I will show you that how will go for our design procedure. So before starting, I'm just requesting you if you're new to our channel, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon because you hear that means you're a civil engineer so this is also your channel and uh, you can watch our previous lecture that are given in description so all video playlist are given in description I think you should uh, see it to improve your scale now I'll go here design so from here uh, I'll just unlock it as your foundation is okay now I'll go for our another tax design then our design preferences so from here it's okay I'll go here and it's 75 75 16 okay it's also done because uh, I have uh, defined that in our previous lecture so I'll not do anything here so design combo okay for uh, design combo I'll just consider that four combo here I'll just consider that four combo okay then okay and after that i'll just uh, go for it's okay actually now i'll go for our design process oh, sorry actually uh, i have done a mistake again here first of all we have to draw our e stiff okay design stiff without uh, design stiff we cannot properly design or that matte foundation so for design step we'll directly go for uh, edit then from here add or edit design step then add design step so from here we'll select auto design step otherwise you can uh, draw it but i will recommend you to draw auto design step and software will consider the auto design step so from here include middle step must click here then it's x a and then okay so it's done now first of all i will uh providing design stiff in y direction i'll just modify that so click here reshape and send from here select that just see here okay and just see here uh actually here our that design stiff is from that point to that point but our it should be from that point to that point so simply press your mouse here and uh, move that here and from here move here after that click that and move it here and obviously when you move you will see a red button like that I'm sorry I'll just cancel sorry I'll just unlock it so from here if you see here okay again unlock it so simply click here uh, sorry escape then click reshape after that click here and just simply move it here and when you will move it you will see a red array and perfectly do it so here then uh, zoom it for proper view so it's done and here it's done and for that side is it okay so I can just come here and again come here sorry it's here carefully do it otherwise uh, it will not work perfectly then do it 
here and for that side here in this way just here here so we have uh, done that now uh, similarly I'll just press escape now we have a uh, move it now we'll go for again edit add design Steve at design Steve now we'll go for global Y and global V then okay so similarly we have to do the same work so click reshape so from I'll move that side first here oh extremely sorry for disturbance so again do the same work here so actually uh, I think it's okay and you'll be able to do it now so I'm just uh, skipping that option and after completing I'll just come back So we have uh, done it. We have perfectly uh, stripped our foundation. So I'll just press escape. Then simply run that model again. Okay, it's done. Now I'll just moving it in that side. Now I'll go here for display show slab design. Okay, from here show slab design, and also you can. Uh, see show slab forces or stresses so from here this is the for different types of combination you can see f1 so here this is the stresses you can uh, see it okay display the different shape again if you go here display slab strip forces then from here moment so apply just see here that is the moment for this is the middle step this is the uh, column step I mean uh, column step this is the middle step so here uh, our data and for this is for layer A and layer for layer B here and also you can change your <laughs> that value after that I am just uh, now going to show that our design data so from here uh, click here display and then uh, click here show a uh, slab design okay so from here just simply click here show slab design right now uh, I'll just from here strip base then layer A and this is show pin pulping flexural reinforcement after that show top river and show bottom river and from here show river intensity area per unit width so it's done now click apply so just see here this is for layer a according to layer a this is the requirement of reinforcement okay this is the requirement of reinforcement where how much reinforcement is required so, so see here at that middle they have no reinforcement requirement actually no oh uh, sorry uh, now uh, for layer b okay just simply apply and see here the requirement of reinforcement here at which step how much reinforcement is record it's showing us okay in that direction this is the reinforcement in that direction per unit meter okay per meter this is the rent requirement of reinforcement suppose here it's showing reinforcement 766 per unit area now when uh, in previous every lecture I've just shown you, shown you that actually uh, we'll use that option all as layer a layer b impose minimum reinforcing so we'll use that option so that or we can go f I mean we can go for it minimum reinforcement according to our design code apply so now it's showing us the minimum reinforcement requirement of minimum reinforcement in every point now 
in my every lecture I have just shown you that or I have discussed with you that with you that we'll use that option topical reinforcing is specified below okay topical reinforcement is specified below and everything will be same now first of all this is for top okay first of all I'll go for layer A okay in that direction okay layer A for layer A for top reinforcement okay for top reinforcement I'll just consider first of all 14 mm and for bottom 14 mm now its reinforcement is spacing is 200 50 250 then apply now see here for that direction we record more some reinforcement so I'll just go here to 0, 0, 200 spacing and 200 then apply now see here here every place is okay with that reinforcement I mean in top and bottom for that X direction okay with a, a spacing of 200 mi millimeter 200 millimeter that every point is okay except that certain some that point so if we consider that wall point for same spacing of reinforcement with 40 mm bar then our foundation will not be economical so what can we do just simply use reinforcement everywhere in that spacing and provide in that point some extra reinforcement okay provide here some extra reinforcement so that we can uh, cover our that reinforcement okay we can cover our that reinforcement so if I go here to show you that 150 then again 150 now apply just see here even when we need here some more reinforcement okay more reinforcement it's the recompense of reinforcement in that strip is here uh, 422 uh, maximum is 459 459 millimeter per meter so if I go here for 100 sorry 100 and again for that direction 100 then see what happened just see here now every place is okay 125 125 now see what happened now here we record some reinforcement also so by using that spacing everywhere just we can provide here some extra reinforcement for economical design actually this is depend on your technique that how will design for it now I'll go for layer B apply then apply just I'll go here first of all 200 then uh, 200 then apply just see here here we need some reinforcement also when we are giving the 200 then I'll just give him 150 then 150 then apply just see here everywhere is okay except that four point so just we can uh, provide here some extra reinforcement according to a requirement so here requirement uh, 167 millimeter a square millimeter square per meter so just uh, in that middle step we can provide that reinforcement as a extra reinforcement then our foundation will be very economical so here for that point also so just if I go here 125 and 125 then see what happened just see here it's also run but if we go for number 16 mm bar number 16 mm bar and apply it's okay so if I go here for 150 then 150 then apply it's also okay then if we go for 200 for 16 mm bar 200 mm spacing so uh, by providing system mm bar with 200 spacing we can provide her some extra reinforcement in that point in that step and also in that step so our foundation will be okay so 
I think it's clear that how we'll provide our reinforcement in our foundation and actually it's depend on you that how we'll go for the detailing and um, in my another one lecture I'll just show that how we'll draw our detailing in AutoCAD actually uh, in CSS save our detailing process is not so good so if you if I just show that from here you can click here for detailing preferences then here for a slab or matte reinforcing preferences from here you can select okay you can uh, select according to requirement then uh, for here assign footing group then beam reinforcement drawing sheet setup drawing format after that simply click here and click ok and see this is your one section and this is another section so it's the drawing list is the cartelment bar this is the bar shape so here it's a slab or mat and show this is the plan this is the another plan actually this is not available here because we do not provide it any uh, here detailing preferences from here uh, we have to provide detailing preferences okay then detailing format after that you will get that data actually but uh, as we are not going for our this is the river plan actually this is the river plan for our mat okay but I will just suggest to just see here this is very very impressive plan and this is very difficult to understand about that so this is step one that this is section this is the reinforcement section actually so from here you can see our detailing from here okay from here actually you can see our detailing but I, I will not show you about or I will not go for that uh, plan actually just see here this is the full reinforcement detailing okay this is the wall river detailing okay this is the for top river and this is for uh, bottom river and this is for bottom river but see here the, uh, they have some point where they have not provided any reinforcement and then this is the drawing sheet or here also they have another option drawing profile just see here when uh, we have provided just we have uh, provided here more extra reinforcement that are not required actually why why we have provided that uh, extra more reinforcement because because of we have adjust every point with same spacing but when we'll go for different types of spacing sometime ago i have shown you that if we go for different types of spacing and if we provide some extra reinforcement then our foundation will be very economical just see here we have provided here 282 percent over reinforcement this is just see here this is 382 percent over reinforcement we have provided that reinforcement that are not required actually this is for layer a this is for layer a and this is for layer b just see here we have uh, that blue line representing that the excess reinforcement okay so from here uh, general note then top river plan so from here we can see the top river plan but i'll suggest to you please do not follow that detailing because this this detailing is not good okay this detailing is not good actually so you know uh, in my finishing lecture or when I'll just complete CSS save full lecture tutorial series then I'll show that how we'll design our or sorry how we'll uh, make a detailing for our different types of format so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video And if you think that that uh, full matte foundation tutorials was helpf helpful for you, then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel because your subscription, your like, your comment inspires for the next work. So thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, without your support, we are nothing. And just here, our only one motivation here to help you. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much. Still, let's stay connected till next video.